In this video, I will show you how to create a static HTML web app in Azure. In Azure portal, click on App Services. Click on Add. Let's create a resource group. I will create a new resource group and I will name it as WVT RG. Click OK. okay enter the instance details. Uh, I will go with the WVT App Service. Okay, the full URL will be wvd app services dot azure websites dot net. I will go with top code. I will publish and runtime stack. I will choose uh, ASP dot net version four point seven. And operating system will be Windows, and I will choose the region as. East US 2 okay now give it a app service plan name so uh, I can go with default one or I, I will create a new one I will name it as WED app service plan Okay, the size I can go with default or uh, I will change the size because it's not a production environment. I will go with the Devon test. Uh, in Devon test, we have a shared infrastructure. So I will go with that. And now I will click on monitoring. I'm not going to enable any monitoring. So I will click on no. Click on tax, uh, no tax. Click on create and review. And click on create. So now the deployment is in progress. You can go to resources and to WVD app service. And you can see on the right hand side we have a URL uh, WVD app service dot Azure websites dot net. So let's try to open this URL in a web browser. Just copied it. Open up browser, copy this URL. You can see it's like a blank page because deployment is not done. So the web page is up and running, but there is no code at all. So what I will do now we have to put a code. I created one index.html file. So I will show you the code. And this is the code which I've written. The basic code. And I will show you how it looks like. Uh, just double click this and Azure Web Apps Demo version 1.0, something like that. You can create anything. So now basically we need to copy this index.html file into www root folder. So let's click on the get publish profile. And just open this file. <clears throat> uh, it's a note. Uh, you can open it in a notepad and uh, in the file, you can see the, uh, that it has all the information. So for what information we need is we need the path. So let's copy the published URL path that is 
uh, you can see FTP colon WAS prod BN. This is a path. Copy this path, open an explorer and paste it. <coughs> okay. And now it will ask for the credentials. So in the same file, we have username as well as the password. So let's copy the username WVD app service slash dollar WVD app service and let's copy the password also from the file and just copy the password and paste it there so once you paste the password it will open www root folder where we can copy the index.html file which we have created okay it's not coming let me do it again let's try again okay refresh Let me refresh it again. Okay, now we can see this www root folder. So let me paste this index.html file here. And once the file is copied, uh, and I will just refresh the browser, and you will see that uh, the whatever code we have written it is published on the website let's go back to the url just refresh it yep that's it thank you